Sons and Daughters of God, Daily Devotional by Alan G. White. He teaches us his yoke is easy, his burdens light. March 3rd. Christ himself is our instructor. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew chapter 11 verse 30. We are to bear the yoke of Christ that we may be placed in complete union with him. Take my yoke upon you, he says. Wearing the yoke unites finite man in companionship with the dearly beloved Son of God. Lifting the cross cuts away self from the soul and places man where he learns how to bear Christ's burdens. We cannot follow Christ without wearing his yoke, without lifting the cross and bearing it after him. If our will is not in accordance with the divine requirements, we are to deny our inclinations, give up our darling desires, and step in Christ's footsteps. Men frame for their own necks yokes that seem light and pleasant to wear, but they prove gaunt in the extreme. Christ sees this, and he says, Take my yoke upon you, the yoke you would place upon your own neck, thinking it is a precise fit, will not fit at all. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me the lessons essential for you to learn. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Lord never takes a false estimate concerning his heritage. He measures the men with whom he is working. When they submit to his yoke, when they give up their struggles that has been unprofitable for themselves and for the cause of God, they will find peace and rest. When they become sensible for their own weakness, their own deficiencies, they will delight to do God's will. They will, they will submit to the yoke of Christ. Then God can work in them to will and to do of his good pleasure, which is often entirely contrary to the plan of the human mind. When the heavenly anointing comes to us, we shall learn the lessons of meekness and loneliness, which always brings rest to the soul. Although we have trials, yet these trials, well born, only make the way more precious. This is your daily devotion. We thank you for listening. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Please also check the YouTube comments for your further study notes. Sons and Daughters of God, 